All right, let's get this party started. My name is Josh Friday. I'm the Chief Service Officer, and today is an exciting day. Today is the California Volunteers Summer Celebration of Service, uh, and we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate you. We're going to celebrate the over 10,000 strong members of the California Service Corps here in California, and we're going to celebrate. We have balloons. We have inspiring speakers you're going to hear from. We have some announcements to make. Uh, and most importantly, we're going to have some fun together uh, because this is a day we're celebrating. Uh, this is a day where uh, we get to celebrate the fact that you all have stepped up to serve your communities, to serve your state, and to make a massive difference, hopefully not just in your lives, but in the lives of many, many others around you and in our state. And I just want to acknowledge and uh, and send a message on behalf of Governor Newsom, who asked me uh, to say thank you to all of you. Thank you to for you for stepping up. Thank you for you to you for being a part of the California Service Corps, for being a part of this mission. He believes so strongly uh, in the idea that if we can if we can invest in service in the way that you all have shown that we can actually connect our communities again in a time where we too often feel isolated and disconnected and divided from each other. He believes that we can actually tackle our biggest challenges, which you all have proven, uh, working on really big issues, everything from education to climate change to food insecurity and so much more. And he believes that by investing in you all, we are preparing our future workforce uh, to tackle and continue to take on the big the big challenges that our society needs. So you have, uh, because of your service over the last year, um, we believe you've you've proven that vision to be correct. Uh, and we're so proud of you. Uh, we're so proud of the fact that you all have stepped up to become part of the largest service force in the nation. I hope you're proud about that. Uh, because you joined your program and are part of the California Service Corps, you're leading the way not just here in California, but you are leading the way throughout the entire country. Uh, and so, and what's exciting, what's actually fun today uh, is you get to hear from a representative from each of our programs, uh, each of the four programs, AmeriCorps, College Corps, Climate Corps, Youth Jobs Corps, that make up the entire California Service Corps. Uh, and I'm so excited. We're going to jump into the, uh, our speakers quickly because uh, they have really uh, inspiring and compelling stories to share. So I hope you're all ready for those. I just want to just quickly uh, say that, it, and when I think about today, one word comes to mind, and that's impact. Uh, and th this celebration is about impact. And we hope it's about the impact that that service has had on your life. Uh, service certainly uh, has made a big difference in my life. It gave me purpose and connection uh, and, and meaning. And we hope that through your experience over this last year, that you have found some of that. You found connection to your community. You've built friends. You've built networks. Uh, hopefully, you've met future employers. Uh, and that you've uh, you've also learned a lot. You've learned a lot of skills. You've learned a lot about yourself. You've learned a lot about your community. So we hope this program has had an impact on you. Uh, we also know, and we're going to be celebrating this today, that this, this program uh, in the California Service Corps has a massive impact on our communities. All of you combined have served nearly 5 million hours of service in the state of California. Think about that. Think about that collective impact that you all have had uh, together. That's so powerful. It's huge. And that's an impact uh, on, that's not, uh, you know, it's not theoretical. Uh, it's it's real. It's on people's lives. It's changing people's lives uh, in a real way. And so we appreciate you all so much. And then finally, when I think about impact, I think about the impact that, that your service has on the entire state of California. Uh, that because you've stepped up, you've made a difference, you've made this a better place to live for everyone. Uh, and then also, you are now prepared to move forward in your life for the rest of your life to work with people that are very different than you, that look different than you, that think different than you, to actually solve problems and be and, and build bridges and not not create division in your society. And that has such a massive impact on our society. And so I want to say thank you for the impact uh, that you have made, that you will continue to make. I'm going to leave you with this, which is that the theme of today is this is just the beginning. 
You are just getting started on your service journey, and we want you to stay connected to this service family, to the service community, can stay connected to each other, uh, and continue to make a difference in your lives uh, um, uh, for many, many years to come. And we're going to talk about how we want you to stay connected throughout today. But first, uh, we're going to get kicked off uh, with one of our inspiring speakers. We're going to hear today from Chani Sek who is an AmeriCorps member with Improve Your Tomorrow in the Central Valley. Uh, he has had a significant impact uh, with this time, which you're going to hear about. He's shown dedication to the well-being of all of the students that he works with. Uh, he's been part of a You Matter Marathon initiative you're going to hear about, which is spread positivity. We need a lot more positivity, Chani, uh, in our lives and in our communities, and you're spreading that uh, throughout your school and throughout the entire IYT community in Central Valley. Chaney, take it away. Thank you, Josh, for that. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Chaney Thiesek, and I go by Chaney. I am an AmeriCorps member with a program called Improve Your Tomorrow. I started my service in 2022 as a mentor in Stockton at Lincoln High School, then transitioned to Tracy Unified at Merrill F. West High. So the type of service I led were supporting young men of color, and that was through mentorships surrounding wellness, check-ins, great checks, and trying to plan for future college and career planning for them. Specifically this year, I was working with seniors on my caseload to help them apply for colleges, FAFSA, and scholarships. Not only that, I was also contacting and connecting with parents to update them about our sessions and also facilitating workshops surrounding college college readiness, wellness and er, enrichment activities and et cetera. Um, so the type of positive impact that I believe I made in my community while in service is making those connections with my students. In IYT, we call our mentees brothers and making a connection with their parents. Growing up, I didn't really have a mentor to help guide me through college. So serving as a mentor to be that resource for them and help guide and support them to carry out the IYT mission. And the I IYT mission is to get young men of color to and through college. So when reaching out to brothers' parents, sometimes it makes me laugh because like when texting them, they would respond with thank you for the update. Uh, give me a brief update about my brothers that are on my caseload and sometimes send, send me emojis or like a laugh out loud response, which still to stay, till this day, it makes me laugh. So specifically this year, six out of seven seniors that I've worked with are going to college whereas one has decided in the workforce. Out of those six, they didn't really know the process of how to get there. And with a few of them being the first to go to college, they trusted me to help me help them get them there. So one an example was of a positive impact I made with one of my senior brothers. He reached out to me uh, because he confused about how to how to apply for UCs and the deadline was right around the corner. So he asked me to help him go over them. I stayed up past midnight giving him advice on how to go on with his personal insight question. The next morning, being super tired, I had training. I was still fixing grammatical errors and edits so that it was a little more structured. He was able to submit that before the deadline, and I was committed to help him get there. We created this bond just to make sure it's like, look, I got you. We're going to get through this together, and we're going to make it together. So not only my senior brothers still reach out to me to this day, but we still make those connections, not only with uh, brothers on my caseload, but brothers within the program at Tracy. Uh, we built that connection in my previous service years uh, in the program. And this year alone, we've, we've made a stronger connection this school year. So I'm pretty proud of the impact that I've made 
and I'm excited to continue my work next year as a program manager with IYT. Uh, an advice I would give to someone that wants to start their service journey is just to avoid any expectations and just being open to everything. You will learn the process as you will go. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Well, thank you, Chani. Thank you for sharing your story uh, and that incredible message. And thank you for going above and beyond to help uh, your mentees. And I think, you know, what we heard and what we all know is, is that you didn't just make a difference in, in their lives uh, by helping them get into college. That's generational change you just created, helping to change their families uh, and their communities. And that's that's real and that's powerful. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, next, we get to go to somebody who I've had a chance to recently meet uh, with, the, with the mayor of Oakland, someone who in many ways embodies and is a model uh, for the California Service Corps. Uh, Keisha Reeves is a California Climate Action Corps fellow, uh, but not only is she a Climate Action Corps fellow, before that, she was a College Corps fellow with our inaugural class, and we're so proud of her. Uh, and just to just to sort of bring home the point that once you're in the uh, the California Service Corps family, uh, we're not going to let you get far away. She has recently accepted an offer to be an administrative support coordinator for College Corps, coming back home at Cal State East Bay, uh, which is the same place where she served. So, yeah, Keisha, you embody uh, and model. Uh, the spirit of service and everything Governor Newsom is trying to create here in California. Uh, and we appreciate you so much and can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for the introduction, Josh. I appreciate it. Um, and it, it was great hearing your story, Channel. Thank you for sharing. Um, go Pioneers. I'm happy to be, uh, uh, have accepted the position and excited to start my new journey uh, next month. Um, so I started off, as y'all said, um, in food insecurity through College Corps um, at a health site called Monument Crisis Center. Um, then I learned about uh, CCAC, California Climate Action Corps, um, after I finished that program. And my host site is currently White Pony Express. Uh, so at White Pony Express, we are a food rescue nonprofit organization. We have about 700 plus volunteers and we uh, serve 90, over 93 per participants um, who receive uh, our uh, food donation. So basically um, I played a crucial role in volunteer recruitment and also did a little bit of everything from picking up surplus uh, fresh foods from distri uh, distribution centers, supermarkets, farmers markets, to sorting foods and delivering it to our nonprofit um, organizations um, and being able to serve those in need. Um, so I had the privilege of in learning, you know, the A to Z in this program. And it's been um, super en enriching for me and um, very satisfying. Um, and so I would say the skills that I've gained in the program that prepared me for my next steps. Um, you know, I I, if I played an instru instrumental role in the in the crucial efforts of addressing food insecurity, food waste, and mitigating climate change and impacts um, through the developmental training we've learned, through the climate action training that we've learned. Um, it's been in, invaluable. And the hands-on experience um, allowed me to develop vers a versatile skill set that will prove invaluable as I transition into my new position um, in the administrative role for uh, CSU East Bay's community for uh, for an, um, Center for Community Engagement. Sorry, um, I would say um, the best advice that I can give you guys as you move forward and congratulations by the way uh, for making it this far I know it's been a it's been a lot of work for you guys um, and we're also proud that you made it this far um, so the advice that I can say is um, to embrace the opportunity wholeheartedly whatever your next journey is um, service programs such as CCAC and College Corps um, they provide such a unique experience and um, a rewarding path for professional and 
um, personal growth. So I always say the program, it, it is what you make it. You have to put your best foot forward. You have to advocate for yourself and 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 for the community around you. Um, I was fortunate enough to um, work at a host site that was willing to pour into me, willing to give me the flexibility that I needed um, to come up with my own ideas to um, to help their, their organization um, grow stronger. Um, and while it pushed me out of my comfort zone at times, it was exactly what I needed uh, to learn the most powerful lessons. Um, and the skills that I developed ranging from hard skills uh, specific to my role and vital soft skills like communication, problem solving, adaptability, and resilience is also going to be invaluable for me as I move forward. Um, and the most important thing that um, I was able to take away from this experience was just the human connections that I forged along the way um, from my colleagues to the community partners, to the volunteers that I served with uh, day in and uh, every day. Um, and those are relationships that I would cherish moving forward. And so again, congratulations to you all and um, best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Akisha. Thank you for sharing all of that uh, and for uh, focusing on the connections and the community that we've all built uh, and are part of uh, and will continue to be part of. And also for reminding us that that service is hard. It's hard work. Uh, and so we do have a lot to celebrate today. Uh, the fact that you all have have uh, done with the, done the hard work, have stuck with it and have made a huge difference. And that service can provide such a unique pathway. Uh, which leads us to our next speaker, our keynote speaker today. Uh, we are very, very fortunate and privileged to have a keynote speaker, someone who is always on the move uh, for the state of California and the people of San Diego, including on the move uh, right now. Uh, and that is Mayor Todd Gloria, who who has lived his own unique pathway in uh, through service, which I hope he has a chance to share because it is quite inspiring. Uh, in addition to having his own inspiring story to tell, uh, he's also inspired uh, in many ways this program and has made it possible for us to grow to become the the largest service uh, force in the nation uh, as our partner, as the mayor of San Diego, but also as a statewide leader leading all of the big 13 cities uh, in California to work with Governor Newsom to make sure that service remains a priority in the state of California. Mayor Gloria, we are so honored to have you with us today and to to celebrate the uh, the California Service Corps and everything you've done in San Diego. Take it away. Josh, thanks for that introduction and hello everybody. Uh, forgive me for taking this uh, Zoom from the from the road. Uh, you know, you might imagine a mayor's schedule is always very full, uh, but I couldn't miss this chance. Uh, just show my support uh, for this program and my support for all of you and what you've done for California and many of you right here in my city of San Diego. And Josh, thanks for that introduction. Um, I often share that while I'm the mayor of San Diego, I think of my second job as being a missionary for public service. And that's why I want to be here. I'm super passionate about public service. And what I love about uh, the Youth Job Corps is that we're recruiting the next generation of public servants. Many of you are already well-established leaders in your own community, but giving you the tools and the relationships uh, to build upon that and to really have a career in this, uh, I think that's what this is about. And so I want to be here to lend my voice of support. Uh, Josh has mentioned that um, I've had a long pathway uh, and long connections with this kind of work. Uh, you know, when I was many of your ages, uh, we had a program then at that time called Hire Youth. Uh, and that's where I got my first paid internship at the County of San Diego. Uh, I was a, a student in high school. I was a nerdy kid that loved to watch C-SPAN and read the newspaper. Um, uh, nothing's changed, by the way. Uh, and I just was looking for a way to be involved in my community, to be involved in public service and in government. And so I got this placement in the higher youth program. And it's safe to say that it changed everything. Uh, it allowed me kind of an entry point into the career field that I wanted to pursue. Even before I went to college, I had a sense about service. I attribute that to my parents who are um, uh, two working class folks here in San Diego who raised my brother and I to believe that we're supposed to leave the world better than we found it. I don't know that they intended that as a public service message, but that's exactly what I got from it. And higher youth was an entry point into a career in public service and one that really allowed me to uh, from the age of 16 on to have always worked in public service, either serving at the city, county, uh, state, or federal level. 
Uh, and I've loved that I've been able to spend my whole career uh, serving my hometown, my home state, uh, and my country. Um, what I wanted to be here today is to tell you all that I hope that you continue on this path. You know, I think public service is an incredible opportunity um, to improve your com improve your community, improve your world. Uh, you know, I often phrase it as, you know, I get up every day with the opportunity to just leave the world a little better than I found it, to make my community stronger, to make it fairer, to to give other folks the opportunity to be their best selves, and uh, which is a way of saying that I don't feel like I have a job. I feel like I have a passion. I have an advocation. I have um, something that's uh, bigger than uh, than just, you know, earning a paycheck. Uh, and what I want to say to all of you is that you're looking at me and saying, yeah, I'm not really interested in ever running for office. And I would say, I've probably said that at 1.2, so don't ever rule it out completely. Um, but I, what I want to say is hopefully you've learned through these service projects that there's a lot of ways to serve your community. It doesn't have to be an elected office. It doesn't have to mean that you ever put your name on a ballot, although I expect all of you to vote. Um, but it can be that you can be an accountant, but in the public sector, uh, that you can be an engineer, but helping build neighborhood projects that make communities stronger and more resilient. Um, that you can work in finance, but do it in a way that helps us balance budgets so that they serve more people, not fewer. Um, so I uh, I think that this program is incredible. And you're going to hear from uh, one of the folks that have benefited from what we've done down here in San Diego, Quincy Lambert, who's been a part of what we've branded in San Diego, Employ and Empower. And maybe just to conclude this point, um, as chair of the California Big City Mayor's Coalition, uh, the 13 largest cities in California band together to advocate uh, for uh, policies in both Sacramento and Washington, D.C. And after uh, advocating for uh, change on our unsheltered crisis, uh, this program is what we've chosen to spend our time on and advocating for. And I'm pleased to tell you that all of our 13 mayors, uh, Republicans, Democrats, independents, uh, in cities in the north and south part of the state, uh, in the coastal areas and in the Central Valley, all of us see how powerful this program is. And we see that because of the work that you're doing. And here in San Diego, through our Employee and Empower program, we've now officially hired more than a thousand young people into these paid positions. And what I can tell you is that um, not quite 20% of them are already moved on to permanent employment at the city of San Diego. Uh, so I'm so proud of what the young people in my city have done. And I see that one, I'm keeping a seat warm for them because I think one of these employment and power kids are gonna become uh, 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 executives at the city and maybe one day be the mayor themselves. And what I know for sure is that that story is true up and down the state. And I know that all my fellow mayors believe that as well. So Josh, I, my hat's off to you and to the entire team in the service office for coming up with this policy, partnering with mayors, working with the governor and the legislature. Let's keep this going. Let's make sure that there's more young people like me who had that opportunity all those years ago, more young people like Quincy, who you'll hear from in just a moment. Uh, let's keep this uh, this generation of service going so that the public servants of tomorrow uh, get the skill sets, the contacts, and the relationships that they need today. Um, I know that we'll all be better for it. So Josh, again, thanks for the opportunity to be here today. And I'll hand it back to you uh, with deep appreciation to all of the volunteers that are out there have done incredible work. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, truly impactful from a generational perspective, and you, sir, are leading the way, so I'm proud of the work you're doing. Amen. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate that so much, and I, I have a feeling and a hope uh, that uh, listening in are several future Todd Glorias of our state, uh, several mayors in this mix uh, coming up and following your path, and thank you for, for not just creating such an awesome, awesome program in San Diego uh, but again, for really helping the governor lead the way uh, statewide. So we create something that that not just we're proud of here in California, but that is looked upon with envy across the nation. So we appreciate you, uh, uh, Mayor Gloria. And as you mentioned, we now get a chance to hear from uh, one of those incredible future public servant leaders that you talked about from the great city of San Diego, Quincy Lambert, who is a standout Youth Jobs Corps member in San Diego. He was part of the Employee and Empower Winter Civics Internship Program that Mayor Gloria spoke about. Uh, and uh, what will become uh, quickly apparent to you all is, is that Quincy is known for his initiative, his leadership, his honest feedback. Uh, and I hope he shares, but I'm going to maybe take away the, the thunder because I'm so excited, Quincy, uh, that you're set to take on a new role at the Office of Child and Youth Success in San Diego against one, one once again modeling uh, the lifelong journey of service uh, that you're on. Quincy, take it away. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mayor Gloria. Thank you, Josh Friday, and all the rest of the speakers. Uh, so much of what you guys were all saying, like all resonated with me so much. 
And so, like, I'm just so grateful to be a part of the uh, the summer, the spring civics program with the employee and empower. And I'm representing the, uh, the user job course program. And it just has been like it, it like honestly has meant so much to me and my drive to serve others and impact my community honestly started at a young age through my family just taking us to uh, beach cleanups and community service projects. And once I got to high school, I was actually able to continue uh, continuing fostering my uh, just will to serve and part of a Sacramento program. Because uh, that's where my hometown is actually, is Sacramento. And I was a part of uh, two programs there called Primetime Team and also the summer at City Hall. And it was in those where like, I really like uh, discovered my like passion to like make an impact to my community and help uh, youth, uh, like local youth. And fast forward to 2024, and now I'm a fourth year in college at San Diego State University. And now I have the opportunity to intern again with a, a, a city job with the city of San Diego. And I was a college level intern. And when I seen that we had the opportunity, like we had a, a, a variety of positions to choose from. And when I seen a, a team leader, that is what I knew I wanted to do because it was just so in line with all my like career goals and like the skills I've been try trying to build my whole time. And so I was able to lead, a, along with other college members, I was able to lead a group of high schoolers. And each week we would present, like, like about every two weeks, we would present like our ideas to tackle city issues and how we would like to uh, uh to, like make the initiatives and goals that the city already have come come into fruition and so like just being able to practice that and being a project leader it was just, like it was a great experience to add to add to my resume and it was like it was just like real meaningful work and then to actually like to so i'm from sacramento but then now i spent four years in san diego and so just being able to learn a new city to where i've been living the past four years like i was eager and excited to, to do that as well because i just want to help youth everywhere like whether they're from sacramento my hometown or in college it's like i'm just like so excited to like show people that like there's all there's opportunities in all areas and in, in public sector and inside the public sector government business and everything and so everything that I was doing was just like so meaningful and like it was all coming full circle. And then another thing that I really like got from the um, internship was like a real day in the life and like being able to see what the type of jobs I want in the future, what it actually looks like. And so it was an internship where to, it was like hybrid and, and a, a remote style work. And what I'm interested in is like being in, in positions of project management, being a marketing strategist or entering the realm of like technology sales. And those are all um, positions where you, you can do hybrid and remote. And so being able to be an intern and getting that experience and showing my work ethic, that was like uh, like just a goal that I that I really wanted to do. So like when I do graduate and I do go for like full time positions, they'll be able to see that like working remote is not a foreign responsibility responsibility to me. And so I I just think that the like the opportunity for youth and whether you're in high school or in college to get that experience starting so young, it, it like it really means a lot and like it really like kind of shows. Um, like it kind of like shows that you can make your like ideas come come into fruition because I'm seeing like a glimpse into like my future at such a young age. And so it is really it really gives me like a sense of like reassurance. And then also just like being acknowledged as an outstanding intern and being like the representative of the program is like a huge honor. And so like, I'm just excited to continue my journey, my, pub my public sector service. And like uh, Josh Friday already said, like I already was able to secure another position, a part of the Office of Child Youth Success. And so I'm just like this eager to just continue, like continue to help the, the uh, local youth here and like just like, fi like finding out what resources they need and how we can actually help them. And then I'm also just like trying to like tell my other friends in college about like the opportunities that they have because like the like this really it's like really is impactful work and it makes me want to keep on doing it. So it's like it's a job that I enjoy and it's a job that I feel like my skills are good at. And so it's like everything's coming together well. And so like I just really been appreciative of the program. And then to anyone who are starting their like uh, public service journey is I would just say to just do it genuinely, like without expecting anything out of return because 
just like everything is just so impactful and meaningful like and you just get so many benefits out of it and then when you don't expect anything it's like it's it, like it's going to come back to you in some form or fashion and like that's just honestly what i've been seeing through college what i've been seeing through high school is that just being a positive person a good a good steward is just like it will come back to you inside return and so yeah, I I definitely just like want to spread the messages for everybody to definitely impact the community. And so, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Quincy, I think you said it all, my friend. Uh, it's obvious why you're uh, you're a standout in your program because your your enthusiasm is uh, is contagious. Uh, so we're gonna take that enthusiasm everywhere and keep growing. We appreciate you. Thanks for everything you're doing and. And for being uh, being such a model and ambassador for this program, and and also for your community, so we appreciate everything you just shared. I also love seeing all the comments uh, that everyone's pay, uh, posting and sharing. So if you have your own story you want to share, please uh, please add it uh, and keep encouraging uh, all of our incredible speakers and each other. Uh, we now get to hear from our, our last service member. We've heard from a, our, a, a AmeriCorps member. We heard from a Climate Corps member. We just heard from a Youth Jobs Corps member. And now representing College Corps is Alfonso uh, Gutierrez, who is actually not only an ambassador for East Los Angeles College with College Corps program, uh, but he is actually in his second year of College Corps. Uh, so he continues to step up time and time again for, for his whole community. He's working with the California Student Opportunity and Access Program, uh, improving the lives of so many every single day. Alfonso, so fun to have you. Thank you so much. Um, good afternoon. My name is Alfonso Gutierrez. And I'm currently a full-time student at East Los Angeles College studying computer science. I'm a second year College Corps fellow serving at Cal Soap in Linda Marquez High School. Cudahy is a small city that I have grown up in, so I was more accustomed to a lifestyle where it was safer to be more reserved and to never socially engage with any stranger unless they approached me. Cudahy was a low income community, so benefits and programs were scarce and very hard to come by. My family had also found it quite difficult to maintain our money, given that it was that we, we are in debt. One of the biggest challenges that I faced during my service, during my service years with College Court, was to not let my doubts get the best of me. I remember how I used to feel like a fish out of water during my first cohort because of how intimidating, uh, intimidating it was for me to be in my first professional environment. I always struggled with low self-esteem and that would always get in the way of opportunities and programs. However, through my involvement and dedication with College Court, I have learned that I can adapt to any challenge or opportunity that is presented to me and that any positive outlook can outweigh a lot of the negativity that we see in ourselves and the world around us. Through the support of this program, I was able to become more socially engaged with others in my circle. Prior to being a College Corps Fellow, I was not as socially involved as I am now. I struggled a lot with voicing my opinions and expressing myself because of how I grew up in the hostile environments at the schools I went to during my childhood and early teenage years. Something that made me overcome this was serving as a fellow ambassador at, at um, College Corps. I knew it was once and it was a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I promised myself that when the college the College Corps ambassador conference took place, that I would do my best to meet new people and to learn from other students from all over the state. I have heard many heartwarming and inspiring stories and I learned that we are not too different after all and my struggles were normal and that everyone grows differently. And um, my piece of advice for anyone joining the uh, the California Service College, um, California Service Corp would be to join with an open mind and be, and be prepared to be involved. This is a great way to build experience, serve your community, and provide essential support and be a part of change. It is essential to continue to educate ourselves with social and economic uh, problems that low-income communities face so that we can continue to provide our support through the experience that service has granted us. I would also like to um, <clears throat> thank the Director of College Corps for supporting the fellows and the community, the supervisors, College Corps partners who helped me and other fellows improve through professional training, the fellows and coordinators of East Los Angeles College Corps for always supporting me, 
and my family who taught me the true value of empathy and compassion. Thank you so much. Alfonso, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for not just your service, but for sharing that story and, and opening up with all of us uh, uh, and sharing your experience uh, in a way that I know is going to inspire others, uh, inspires me um and uh and and is really powerful so i appreciate we appreciate you sharing that and and appreciate the fact that you have gotten more socially involved and socially connected our goal go the governor's goal california volunteers goal is to keep you and all of our service members to continue to be socially involved and connected with each other uh to continue to be part of this really powerful community that we're just all starting to build together uh, and so in that spirit, I now am delighted to introduce everyone uh, to Hernan Gallo, who is our alumni director here at California Volunteers, uh, who is responsible for uh, helping to continue to build out uh, the, uh, this powerful community uh, with an alumni network in a way that helps you all, but also continues to help the state of California in just such a critical and important way. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Hernan. Uh, he's going to be sharing some valuable insights on the alumni and member engagement activities here in California. Take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Edgar Gallo. I head up alumni engagement here at California Volunteers. And I just want to thank you all for your service and congratulate you. I'm really excited to see what you all pursue after your program wraps up. And I'm here to talk about how you can stay involved as an alum. Um, you know, networks are really important for me, even personally as a first gen college grad, I've really benefited from the professional connections that I've made with others, keeping in touch for job opportunities, advice along the way throughout my career. And so we hope that that's something that you all do as well and continue to support one another. And you can keep in touch as an alum by updating your contact information with us on our alumni website. So we have some fun stuff for you all, some resources. We can share job opportunities, some fun events that you might get an invite to in your local area. So we can't do that if we don't have your latest contact info. So really invite you to do that. We'll drop that link in the chat for you all. Uh, we also have some alumni LinkedIn groups for you to join to connect with one another, build connections, uh, share opportunities that you might have uh, with other alumni. And lastly, we're going to send you all some really cool digital certificates in your email inbox after you wrap up. And these are signed by our Chief Service Officer Josh Friday and Governor Gavin Newsom, demonstrating, you know, and thanking you all for your service. This is something that you can add to a digital portfolio, to your LinkedIn profile, to show that, hey, I did this really cool program. I want to show it off. You know, I'm ready for that next step in my career. So we're here to support you all in that. And we have resources for you on our Alumni Network website. Um, with that, thank you all so much. Congratulations. And I hope to hear from you all soon. Uh, sending it back to Josh to close us out. Take it away. All right. Thank you. We want to make sure every single one of you gets your fancy certificate signed by the governor uh, to say thank you for your service, uh, to show the world the rest of your life that you stepped up for your community in such a big way. So make sure we have your contact information. Make sure if you move or you change your contact information, you share that with us so we can stay in touch with you. Uh, as we uh, conclude this celebration and continue the party uh, to celebrate all of our service members, um, I just want to uh, close by uh, one saying thank you uh, to all of our partners out there who make these programs possible, who make the California service programs possible, and not just our mayors, uh, but all of our uh, host sites, all of our program directors, uh, everyone that we work with collectively. This is an all hands on deck moment. Uh, and our success is dependent upon all of us working as a team. So I appreciate all of our partners so very much uh, who make these service opportunities for these inspiring service members we heard from today possible. I also want to thank every single uh, member of the incredible and amazing California Volunteers team. Uh, all of this is only all of this celebration and all of this work. Uh, it is only possible because uh, a group of people, California Volunteers, wake up every single day. Uh, thinking about how we how we continue to push service in our state, how we continue to provide more of these opportunities, how we improve these opportunities, uh, and it's a it's a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, but also a lot of smiles uh, and a lot of um, really heartfelt work that goes in uh, from the California Volunteers team. So thank you for everything that you all do, uh, and to all of our service members uh, that we're celebrating today. Uh, we are celebrating you and we're also counting on you.
And we're counting on you in a big way. We're counting on you to stay connected, to stay connected to your communities, to stay connected to each other, and also to stay connected to us, which is why we want you to be active and part of our alumni network uh, in a really meaningful way. And we're counting on you to continue serving. So you can sign up to serve like Akisha and others have done, Alfonso, uh, multiple times. You can do a, a program again. You could sign up for another program. If you've done Jobs Corps, maybe now you want to do Climate Corps or you want to join AmeriCorps uh, or go into College Corps, please sign up for another year. You can keep serving uh, or tell a friend. Uh, spread the word uh, as Quincy's doing. Let everyone know uh, that this is a, a great opportunity to get paid, to change the world and to make a difference in your community. Uh, and continue serving uh, for years to come. Stay connected with us, find ways to volunteer, uh, go, go, do, go into teaching or some sort of profession where you can continue to serve uh, and give back because if we're going to solve some of these big challenges we have as a state, as a community, as a nation, we need you. We need every single one of you to keep stepping up. Uh, and we believe that we can rebuild our communities and create economic opportunities through service in a very real way. And today what we're celebrating is you've proven that. You've shown that. You've demonstrated that. And for that, we're so proud of you. We celebrate you. We thank each and every one of you. We appreciate you. And I know that we're just getting started. Thank you all so much.